morning. It's Veterans Day 2017, November 11th. 11th. We're here in the beautiful Sandia Mountains of New Mexico. We're on the Three Gun Spring Trail. We're just leaving the trailhead. I don't know where we're going today. Might go to Three Gun Spring Trail or maybe go up Hawk Watch. We have to decide in a few minutes. Here we've come to the wilderness boundary of the Sandia Mountain Wilderness, part of the Cibola National Forest. And then right after that is the sign which denotes the start of the Hawk Watch Trail. And the three gun trail goes straight ahead. Which one do you want to do? I don't know. Hawk Watch? Okay, how much it is. We've been on them both before, so we haven't gone real far up this one. I think you can go all the way up to the crest trail on this one if you want to scramble a little bit. Last time we just went up to where the the hawk watching stations are. They watch for the uh, migratory birds of prey up here certain times of year. Well, we're climbing up the mountain. That's looking behind us back towards the freeway and the trailhead where the, I mean, the subdivision where the trailhead is. We're making a switch back here. It's a pretty steady climb up into this area. We're hoping to get up to the, meet up with the crest trail up there, or at least up to this ridge. It's a beautiful set of mountains right here. Some cool rock formations around here. Here we are at the wooden steps. Still climbing pretty good. Just another beautiful day in Albuquerque. I think it's supposed to be around 70 today. I think it's around 60 now. Here we are coming up to what's known as the post. It really gets a little tighter up here. This is about as far as I've been on this before. I'd like to at least get up to that rock outcropping there. You know, the good use for your trekking poles is when you're in this loose marbly stuff like we are, and you're going up a steeper hill, you can plant them behind you and uh, hold your ground a little easier. Well, our trail's kind of turned into a wash. But we're getting up to our big rock outcropping. That was our goal. Well, we're chugging away here. This trail is kind of rough. It's a good climber. I don't know what the elevation gain is, but it's a lot. Uh, anyway, here's our rock formation that we were shooting for. We're almost there. Looks like we're going to make it. The trail is kind of a loose, uh, rubbly arroyo. Uh, a lot of slippery marble-like rocks. With granite underneath, so you got to be careful. Hiking poles are a must for me. Well, I think we've made it to the intersection with the crest trail, which I believe comes up here. And it goes this way. We're going to go look at this cliff overhang and see what we got, and that's about the end of our run for today. Well, 
here's the view from the top of this big rock outcropping that you can see from way down there. Looking uh, south down the Columbia Manzano Mountains. Here's looking to the west over Albuquerque. You can see downtown. Uh, down to the airport and down to the valley up to the West Mesa. Mount Taylor over there in the background in the distance. Well, we're heading back down. We found the crest trail, I think. Found the Cairns Ford anyway. It's so rocky here, there is no real trail. But a beautiful area. Uh, really windy today. Probably about 30 miles an hour. So we're gonna go back off the ridge and take a little break out of the wind. Heading back down the ridge, trying to find the Hawkwatch Trail. Hopefully we can find it, otherwise we're going to be lost. So that's looking down towards the trailhead where we came. If I turn around I can get on the uh, look at the east side of the mountains. Pretty cool. Here's our big cairn. Uh, the Hawkwatch Trail is between these two cairns. And I believe the the crest trail goes over this way. There's some cairns over that way, and I believe that's the crest trail. So that's pretty cool. There's the east side. We're going down right here. You can see how steep this Hawkwatch trail is towards the top here. It goes right down. Down, down, down we go. Well, this is looking behind us on the way down. That's where we were up at that uh, big cliff rock outcropping up there. That's pretty much the junction of the Crest Trail. We're heading this way. We're almost back down to the post. Back to civilization. Which means the official part of the Hawkwatch Trail. This part is unofficial, at least on our map. It's not marked on there. But in reality, it is here. Here we are back to the post. I believe this is the end of the official part of the Hawkwatch Trail. I'll uh, look at my GPS and tell you how far it was from here up to the intersection of the Crest Trail where we were. Which is... Right up on top of that cliff. So just looked at my GPS. It's right at a thousand feet from this post up to the intersection of the uh, Crest Trail. And it's only seven tenths of a, of a mile. So that tells you it's pretty steep. I always consider a thousand feet in, in a mile as being fairly steep. So this is a thousand feet and seven tenths of a mile. Pretty tough trail getting up there, but definitely not impossible. Back to the stairs, almost back to the low point in the arroyo down there. Then it's just a little jaunt back to the trailhead. Nice being on this bigger trail, it feels like a highway. Well, that's looking up at the rock face or the rock cliff that we are above. That one right about there. And we're back down here, back to the low point of the trail, there's an arroyo down here. And almost back to the intersection with Three Gun Spring Trail. Here we are back to Three Gun Spring intersection. 
which goes that way, which is another fun trail. I've got a video of that on my channel if you're interested. Onward to the trailhead. Well, if the last trail felt like a highway, this one feels like an interstate. Okay, we're back to the trailhead just about. The hike up to the cliffs above Hawkwatch Trail was about five miles round trip. It's about a 2200 feet elevation gain and it took us four hours and 15 minutes. So it's a tough trail if you're going to do it. Uh, you got to go a little bit off trail because the official Hawkwatch Trail I believe ends up at that post. Uh, so it's kind of a scramble. It's a tough trail, kind of loose, rubbly stuff following up in Arroyo. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, happy hiking.